Hi, Sandra here, and I'm making another loaf of zucchini bread for my mom, although I'm not using zucchini this time. I just kind of tweaked the recipe to what I have, and I had a butternut squash here, just a little, and um, I took part of it up to mom so she can have some butternut squash with supper, um, but I put in one cup, which is the same as it calls for for the zucchini. So um, we're going to start off by um, doing our dry ingredients and a cup and a half of gluten-free flour. So um, I've just blended mine all in one jar, just a, a mix. So three half cups is a cup and a half. So there's one, two, Then a uh, half a cup of monk fruit, um, and that's my go-to, my favorite is the monk fruit. If not, I use um, something with ethanol in it because you want the weight as well as the um, made cup for cup. Um, some of your Splendas and stuff is not cup for, it's cup for cup, but it's not weight-wise, and then your breads will turn out drier and we like a nice moist bread, and this helps it to stay moist. So um, then we are going to add a little bit of, um, my mom likes a lot of fiber in her bread, so I'm gonna add a little uh, psyllium husk. So I'm gonna put in like a quarter of a cup. That there should give her enough fiber that her bowels and everything will pass good. Um, you don't have to do that. That's just something that I do. I Last time I did it, I used flax meal. I don't happen to have flax meal here this time. So every time I make it, I make it a little different. So then I put in a tablespoon of baking powder, uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a um, quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then she prefers walnuts to her, rather than uh, the recipe calls for pecan pieces, but she prefers walnuts, so that's usually what I put in hers. And you, about a half a cup, it, give or take. It really isn't one way or the other, but about a half a cup. And then, it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, but on hers, she's on a low sodium diet, I use the no salt, and it works real good. So then we're gonna stir the dry ingredients all together before we put in the wet ingredients. Okay, there we go. And now it says six eggs and, um, I'll crack six eggs, eggs in here. And then I put them in, I've been, this is what I use in my garden. It helps keep the slugs out of the tomatoes. So I put it around every the base of every tomato. Plus it puts calcium in the uh, tomato plants and they need that. It helps with blight and other things too. So uh, always use my shells. I don't never throw them away, so. We're gonna put them in there. I always wait for them to dry though before I um, break the shells up because then they break up really easy. I just use a old pop bottle or something and um, break them up. My mom and dad started using eggshells years ago on the tomato plants and then I didn't do it for a few years and started getting slugs and it's like, oh, that's probably why. Started doing this and no more slug problems. So I need to put them around some of my um, other plants too because I have um, one thing that slugs like to get into the my cabbage and that is a pain too. So, okay, after the eggs, then we're gonna add um, a cup of zucchini is what I have here but I'm gonna add a half a cup on top of that of, I'm using my lard, but you can use coconut oil. That would be my go-to if I didn't have lard, but this I rendered out. So 
I'll just take this here up to a cup and a half because I got a yeah, it should be a cup and a half. And then we're going to add that. And uh, it says a tablespoon of lemon zest. I just use a little bit of lime juice. Um, and about a capful is good. It just seems to just make it taste so good. And um, it says to add uh, liquid stevia, but it's plenty sweet for my mom, just like this, so I don't add any of that. We'll stir this up, and if it's too runny, then we'll add a little bit of coconut flour, but um, usually when I do the gluten-free, I don't, it's about the right thickness. When, the first time I made a time or two, I used almond flour, and I didn't use any coconut flour, and it was like runny, like a cake mix, maybe a little bit on the runnier side than that. Well, what happened is the eggs settled to the bottom when I baked it, and the eggs on the bottom almost tasted like um, rice pudding, like I had rice pudding when I was a girl, without the rice in it. It was really good. But the bread on top was drier because the eggs left it. So you want, and this is going to be just about right. I can tell by looking at it already. So I don't need to add any coconut flour to absorb any moisture. But see, it's kind of thick, but not too thick. And just like that. Then what we're going to do is I use cake pan. And what I do, is to, in order to lift that bread out real easy, I spray the edges with a little bit of, I use coconut. And then I put a piece of parchment paper in there and I just kind of stick it down, stick it to the edge good. And so it looks like this. So when I, I put the in it and then I, after it's cooked, I just pull it out. So, good because we want the edges to okay and then I'll put it in the oven it's pretty full I'll put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes and I love my convection oven um, table countertop one because it automatically shuts off and it's done if I have to leave for something It'll be done. So if you like what you see, um, like it and share it. And um, you can find more recipes on, um, on this YouTube channel, um, Natural Green Creations. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Hi, I'm back. <coughs> and my um, oven beeped. It says it's done. So we'll take it out of the oven. Sure looks good and um, I'm going to show you how easy this is to take it out I just take a fork and put it in on the ends because the sides gonna pull right out just make sure that it's loose it seems to be pretty loose and then it's just as easy as lifting it out and then I'm going to put it here with my thing 
and we are going to set it here. And then I want to spin it because I like to, and I'm going to cut a piece and we're going to try it. I, I actually haven't eaten yet today, and it's starting to get dark out, so it's um, 5.50. It's time to break my fast, right? So there's my the bread. It looks pretty good. Yep, it's got air pockets in it and everything. It's... See? It tastes good. Um, that cinnamon just, oh, it's good. Savory. That is really good. So, oh, we will catch you next time. Check out the other videos on Natural Green Creations. Thank you.